as you saw at the top of this video, Vermeer unveiled the XR2 with quite a bit of fanfare, uh, including a giant wooden crate and a gale force blast of wind to my face. All of that withstanding, uh, Vermeer feels that this is truly a groundbreaking machine uh, with uh, an innovative solution to a big problem for underground, actually two big problems for underground contractors. So what are those problems? Well, as underground contractors have sought out ways to avoid utility hits, uh, soft dig and hydro excavation have risen in popularity. The first problem is that finding an approved way and site for dumping these spoils that result from this process can be kind of difficult. The second problem is that it can also be difficult to get a hydro back truck through a full day of work because the spoil tanks fill up on these trucks. And when those spoil tanks fill up, that means the truck has to leave to the approved dump site, dump the spoils, and meanwhile, you're losing money. The solution, Vermeer says, is the XR2, which combines the soft dig technology of a hydro vac truck with the onboard separation of a reclaimer. The front half of this truck features a traditional truck vac, but the back half is where things get a little bit more interesting. So instead of retaining all of the spoils in one spoil tank and then having you do multiple disposal trips, Vermeer created the XR2 to separate the solids and the liquids on board and on site. The result, Vermeer says, is that crews and the XR2 stay on the job site much longer. So, how does it work? Well, we took a bunch of video of the XR2 doing its thing, and so let me kind of take you through uh, this with the footage that we have, along with a lot of the information shared with us by Vermeer. So, when material comes up through the boom through traditional hydrovac material, It'll go down through our deceleration tank and in through our continuously vacuuming airlock, which helps us prevent any loss of suction while vacuuming. And when that debris drops onto our shaker deck, it is then conveyed out onto our conveyor, where we can put that 180 degrees from where you take that, that pothole. So whether you're putting it on a trailer or right next to the hole you just dug, it gives you the ability to be more effective on the job site. You know, maybe the coolest thing about how the Vermeer XR2 works are its four 500 gallon side by side tanks and how these tanks smartly manage the fresh water that the truck arrives on site with and the spoils that will eventually take their place as work progresses. So the XR2 has a fresh water transport weight of 51,000 pounds, and when it arrives to a job site, three of its four tanks are full of fresh water. So what about that fourth empty tank? Well, after the truck separates solids from liquids from the resulting spoils, the liquid that it separated out moves beneath the shaker screens of the truck and then into that fourth empty tank for storage. So as the day progresses, the truck actually starts to shift the tanks from being freshwater storage to spoil liquid storage. So after that first tank is filled up and the truck detects that one of the three freshwater tanks has been depleted, it will start to move future spoil liquid into that second tank and into the third tank and so on. Vermeer has also put sloped bottoms on these tanks to make the job of rinsing them out a lot easier before you put fresh water back in them for the next job. Vermeer has also made it really easy to view tank levels in real time through the display on the operator station on, on the side of the truck. So Vermeer says another big feature to this truck was making sure that it was road legal both to and from the job site. I'm going to read this next part because it has some has a lot of numbers in it. So Vermeer says the XR2 return weight is about 53,000 pounds when it's at the recommended full capacity and 10.5 ppg of slurry. And that's an important factor whenever you're trying to adhere to DOT weight restrictions. The XR2 uses a Kenworth T8800 truck with an Allison automatic transmission and a Chelsea PTO. So another cool feature of the XR2 is that that Chelsea PTO 
uh, automatically transfers power between the vacuum system and the truck drive system. That means that crews no longer need to manually disengage and re-engage the system every time the unit is moved. So that about wraps it up on the Vermeer XR2. It will be available in 2020 uh, for a price of about $450,000 to $550,000, depending on how you spec it out. And as always, uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, we always love hearing your, uh, your take and your opinion on new equipment as it's released. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you want more videos of construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks, we've got them. And we're dropping several videos a week. So be sure to also subs you know, subscribe and also turn on those notifications below so you're getting up-to-the-minute uh, updates whenever we do drop a new video. Um, thanks again for watching, and we will see you later.